Hello, I am Dragos from Vipedas channel and in this video we are going to see how we can add a quick view product to our WooCommerce store so our visitors can easily view our products and add them to cart if they want. In this video we are going to use a plugin that is updated regularly and it has three uh, options that we are going to use to add the quick view. The quick view can uh, be enabled in a, a pop-up or in a slider way so you can add uh, each of them to your store so let's get into and uh, configure our quick view on the commerce store Commerce. the plugin it's called the up clever smart view smart quick view for commerce so there are a few plugins out there that can help you add this quick view to commerce but uh, this is the most is interesting one out there because it has the most uh, customizations and with only $29 you can up upgrade to the premium version if you need more. So I have here a uh, website and store that I have and we are going to use this to add the quick view. The quick view can help you have more uh, sales. So yeah, this is the, the default store. And uh, it is using Cadence, but this uh, plugin can be used with any theme that uh, you want because it will uh, go to the product loop and it will add the details directly there. So let's go and activate this plugin. So I will copy the name. I will add the link into the description to this plugin so you can use it. So let's go and add the plugins, plugins, add new. Let's search for the plugin. I will install the plugin. I will activate it. And uh, yeah, this is the plugin. UPC Smart Quick View for WooCommerce. In uh, this area, you have a UP Clover option that you can go. And in here, you have the Smart Quick View. And in here, you will have the options for this. You have the button type. You have the options to add to use an icon if you want you can add some css classes if you want to make some customizations you have the position where you can add this thing you see here you have a lot of flexibility where you can add it you have a shortcut that you can use you have the view type like a pop-up and sidebar we're gonna check all of this you have the effect for the pop-up that uh, it will it will be presented you have the options to auto close it you have the options to use the perfect scroll bar for this you can read more if you want you can activate it in various categories you have the options to to choose the image type image size product image effect if you want from the lightbox and zoom one you have the options to add the product summary in there and choose what you want to add in the quick view and the add to cart button what to do and here yeah you have some related products that you can add and things like that you have the options to add the view details button so let's go and uh, add this so first thing you have the options to choose from button and a link and yeah let me choose from the button and in here i will not use any icon and uh, I will add this button under the title so you can see exactly how it's looking but for this I will just add uh, a link because it would look better and view type I will let the pop-up for now I will let this effect all the categories product image to be large I will use the zoom to see if it's working and yeah, I will let this product summary is activated. A link to single page, I will let. And also view the details button, I will hit save. Afterward, we are gonna go and check. Here are the products. And in here you see that a quick view what's added. Of course, in function of your team, you can style this in, uh, in the way you want. So if you hit a quick view, you'll see that in here it was added the, the quick view you see that you have the zoom options for the product you have the options to add to cart and the view product details 
and yeah, in here if you click it, it will redirect you to the product page. Okay, so another thing that uh, this plugin can help you with is to modify the pop-up and to be a slider. So for instance, you have the options to add it as a slider. You see the, the options, the slider, slider position in the right. You have the options to add a heading, no, auto close, and also the rest of the thing. So let's see how the slider it is looking. Okay. And if we go on to the quick view, you see that we have the slider in the right side that will show up with the product. And it is looking quite, quite nice. Also, if we're gonna go and check, for instance, from mobile, you see that if you hit the quick view, you will be seeing only the, only the sidebar. Okay, other options that we have for this is to customize the button style in here you have the link on the button option you can also use only for instance an icon you see you can icon on the left for instance you can use also the icon and the link for this and here you can choose the icon for this let me save this let's put the pop-up for this test and if we refresh this we're gonna see the quick view and right now it is more clear that this is a quick view because you have the icon in in the left so if you click it you see this if you're going to check the mobile thing again it will also look nice on mobile because it will adapt to the to the screen size you can close it if you want so let me make this big and this will appear in all the categories. You see here you have the quick quick view for this. And uh, yeah, you have the options to put it for instance. Let we can let only the icon to see and uh, let's go and change the position. So you have the options to add it above up to cart, let's say. let's click this and right now is not visible it will be visible only when you well, only when you when you hover over this uh, product because like this the team is configured the cadence team you see you can click it again you have some options to to style this with the css class for instance you see that these things right now are to uh, to near each other so you have the options to create a class that can help you Better. do that we can add a class in here like smart view it will be the name i'll hit save and afterwards we can go and add the css so with cadence you can add this directory in uh, appearances customize and in here you have the additional css and in here I have a class that I was, I've already written for this. So for the smart view class, I've added in the margin to the right. So this to, to be more uh, apart for, for, from the button. So I will hit publish, but it's already saved. So right now, if we go and refresh this thing, we should see the space. So you see in here, it is looking more nice right now. You have more space added between the quick view and the, the space. You can add all sorts of customizations, CSS classes if you want. And you can add the CSS uh, classes, not directly into the team only. You have the options to add a plugin where you can add this. I will add the link in the descriptions to one of the plugins that can help you with this. In the settings, you have the options to localize this. You have the a button text you have the closed next previous suggested products view details and things like that so yeah this is the way you add a quick view on your woocommerce store thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the tutorial of how you can add a uh, quick view product to woocommerce please don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you 
enjoy what you have seen.